Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Losers Finals of the Monthly Checkup. It's Leviticus, and I have a little commentary for you to finish off the night. And joining me is uh, a newcomer to our commentary booth, but uh, I think you all know him very well. Um, it's my, my good, good friend, Panman Richard, fellow Canadian. Panman, how's it going? It is going well, Leviticus. I've been trying to tune in here or there during the checkup, and it's been nice to see some amazing play, especially during that matchup with Snipe and Ibar. And now we're going to be seeing a classic here with Betty versus Ibar. This is going to be so, so exciting, especially for Columbus. Like a little taste of Columbus later on in the future, you know? Oh, man, we've had plenty of taste of Columbus tonight, I think. It's going to be, uh, I can't wait, but we'll get to that. Uh, for now, let's get these two going. Uh, I'm just going to let them, give them the signal, and uh, we'll be off very soon. Do you have any thoughts on this? Any predictions, perhaps? Oh, both players have improved so much over the past year since Columbus, and that's like a running theme for all the players that have been playing throughout the Dr. Mario community, so it's going to be a tough one. We've seen this, like, multiple times throughout the various checkups, so um, it's still up in the air. There's so many ways this matchup can end up, I feel. It's hard to predict in my perspective. Fair enough. Well, this is a matchup we've seen many times, a grudge match, if you will, so they're about to get started and, and we're about to be off here. Yes, here we go. We are up on the high setup here and we are in Team Fever for tonight. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Both players trading off early combos at the start. Ibar, uh, unfortunate little setup here in the top left, uh, but if he can drop it, actually that's going to make... Uh, a double, but uh, he'll have to set up for another double as long as he doesn't get blocked here. Yeah, it's gotta go for the time lag, but it looks like Betty was able to catch up to that right away with her own. And they are both trading blows with doubles and triples here. This is very rough on the top board here for Ibar. Will he clear it? He clears the middle column just fine. But Betty still relentless with the garbage output here. And still ongoing with another double. Oh, wow. Oh, this is yeah, this is a little bit of a rough scenario, and a point crown goes to Betty. Oh, they are here gonna... we go. Yep, they're going to go ahead and, and start the next match here already. This is I'm going so quickly. You. Oh my goodness, like this is going to be wild for when it happens, like when all these matches are happening during like tour. I'm going to watch as much as I can during that, but oh my goodness, this is like... The amazing play that's going on on both sides here at both where both players right now are able to clear up their middle board just fine right now. Meanwhile, we're seeing some combo setups here. Um, a blue and a red double, followed by another double over here. Uh, um, oh, watch. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Might be a good idea to do just that. Um, yeah, we've seen some very nice setups. These, on both these sides. players are playing so fast, it's hard to even <laughs> find time to talk about anything. Uh, just jumping from one thing to the next here. Um, looks like Betty now is starting to uh, maybe fall a little bit behind here on the board health, but uh, she is, uh, you know, still got many combo opportunities. Both both players still very close here, and if she can start knocking all this down, then uh, um, I think she'll find herself in the lead. I like the flexibility of Betty's build there with the combos because there were so many opportunities for it. It could have been a triple, it could have been a double, and seeing the flexibility as to how often her board shifts is very impressive to see. Oh yeah, um, she's finding some awesome yeah. solves here. This is incredible for her. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Ibar also has some particular defenses going on here, but the fifth column isn't looking too well. Gonna need some horizontals to clear that up over there, but a nice double will buy him some time. Yeah, he uh, is now finding himself struggling to survive at the top here. I didn't actually catch what happened with this, but now his column 5 is very dangerous. He's going to knock that down as quickly as possible and make a combo out of it here. But he's got a, a, a big problem to deal with on the left side of his board here. Yes, yes, very big problem, but the thing I always think about is like whenever you have garbage, that means more resources to bounce back with your own combo, so... Yeah, as long as it doesn't kill you first, efficient. but... <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. It all depends on the scenario there. Meanwhile, we're seeing some consistent double plays coming from Betty's side here, and Ibar is able to respond with a double of his own. Meanwhile, Betty responds with a trip. Actually, there were both triples going on on both sides here. Um, again, relentless, like, aggression from both sides, and it's just... You know, when you're in it, it's one thing when you're in it, but when you're watching it, it's a completely different story. It's like, you wonder how the players came up with these scenarios, how the players came up with these setups, and it's just 
wonderful to see like the different flavors of aggression that they have. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it takes a lot of focus to just follow what they're doing when you're not the one playing, especially when you're trying to commentate as well. Uh, now it looks like Betty has, I would say, a comfortable-ish lead here, but we've seen it many times tonight in the different in the games so far in this tournament where uh, the person in the lead just could not close it out and, and the other player was able to stage a comeback, so it's, it's not over by any means. Oh, definitely, definitely. Especially when you think about how um, when you are further down the board, you are more um, liable to the drop time as you're seeing here that Ivar is taking advantage of. And it becomes more of a wild tug of war between both players right now. Now we're seeing board health has sort of reversed in a sense, and Ivar's board <laughs> yeah. looking much more healthier at the end of the day here. Yeah, honestly, I was just thinking, I, I just said that, that oh. Ivar was in a bad spot and Betty was ahead, and now she's topping out not, not a minute later. We're going into game three, one apiece. You know, I just love good competitive puzzle play, and Dr. Mario always delivers on that front. So it's nice to see both players here setting off um, doubles right now, and oh, that blue might be a bit of an issue on Ibar's side. If there's another garbage that falls on that fifth column that isn't blue, that may be a bit of an issue, but it looks like he's able to maneuver over that just quickly here. And then he gets two doubles back to back as well to help deal with that. Uh, both players looking even now. I think Ibar has managed to find a few more combos than Betty so far in this match, but uh, well, in this game at least, I should say. But uh, it's very early days yet. Uh, we've seen some really long games. Sometimes these uh, can go on for over 10 minutes, so there's plenty of time for things to change. Yes, very much so, very much so. As we see Ibar here setting up. Oh, I think he meant for that red yellow to tuck into the red there, but he managed to maneuver that with the red blue instead as Betty responds with a triple of her own. Um, still setups going on on both sides here. Like, again, that's the beauty about like puzzle games. You get to see like everybody's like unique approach to combos. Like, as you see here, Betty's going for a double here. And oh, look at Ibar's side with the quintuple, with a, which will lead to a quad. But, you know, it's all about the style sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, Betty's all about the style, <laughs> I can tell you that. That's her That's her play style, if, if, <laughs> if I had to give her one. It's gotta be like a mind melt in the future, or like uh, an next breaker for the future. Like, let everybody do like the, I don't know, like crazy combo styles and see which ones get like the biggest crowd reaction or something along those lines. <laughs> well, I'm hoping uh, we'll get some crowd reactions from Columbus. That was my favorite part last year, and hopefully we get some good ones this year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, so currently right now in board status, looks like Betty is ahead in terms of um, virus count, but as we mentioned, that tie can turn in an instant, depending on combo drops and whatnot. So Ibar's going to need to turn up a bit of the aggression in order to catch up here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I don't want to jinx it again after saying it last time. Betty looks quite well ahead, but knock on wood, uh, you know, that Ibar doesn't find a way to turn the tables. <laughs> I, I'm rooting to see some, for some good, like, Dr. Mario play at the end of the day, which both are, like, delivering right now, and, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, like, Ibar here was able to recover from his fourth scenario just fine here with some combos, meanwhile, Betty is still ahead in terms of the health, but it could still be anybody's game here in an instant. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more setups loaded on Ibar's side. Uh, Betty definitely has a lot more room to work with to build something up here, but she's gonna have to make sure she prioritizes doing so, otherwise few wrong pieces of garbage and this could all turn around. Very much so, yes, yes. Um, right now here, Betty looks like she's aiming to clean up very fine here. I can see the setup here with the reds, following up for a double- Oh, oh, she's extending oh, it. Oh, We're getting a triple right over here. And she's and one she piece away from endgame, from closing this out. Yes. Oh, but the red! That's okay, the she's, back -to -back? she's gonna tuck it under, I think, on the right side, as long as she doesn't get column two garbage before the yellow comes. And she finds it, of course. And that's gonna be 2-1 for Betty, looking to make it to the grand finals and deny Ibar the run back. These matches are great. I miss watching, like, Dr. Mario matches from, like, start to finish. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so right now we just had, like, a back-to-back uh, -back combo from both sides here. Betty responds with a red blue. Meanwhile, on Ibar's side, he responds with double of his own. So some significant trade-offs back and forth here. Some very even trade-offs, I need to say. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say that Betty is finding some amazing uh, 
just double setups at the top of her board where survival is, is paramount, but she's still finding the combos, keeping the pressure on Ibar while also working her way out of these situations. So she's she's very good at finding those. Uh, that, that's sort of the benefit of being such a combo-heavy player, is that you're going to find every opportunity that is available to you. Yes, yes. And also in kind, I'd like to respond to um, Ibar's um, patience when it comes to cleaning up these scenarios to find a wherewithal to come back from board health scenarios that would be pretty dicey in uh, for other players sometimes. But for Ibar, he's able to calm down and maintain composure and able to clean up whatever is necessary in order to counter right back. I, I just have to say, if, if Hanban Richard is complimenting your composure, then uh, that's pretty high praise. <laughs> Uh, good on you, Ibar. Uh, he's, and he's showing it now, he's really brought this back, he's definitely bringing it uh, into a very even state. Uh, looks like uh, Betty is a lot, getting a lot of setups here, and uh, as I say that again, Ibar's board not looking so great, but he's finding triples, he's working it out, he's getting combos in the process, neither of these players are letting down. Uh, we've seen this matchup so many times, and I'm always like, like, so, so hype each time it happens, because you just never know how it ends up, and like, oh my gosh, like, ah, uh, this match is delivering already, I, it's hard to, like, commentate over the <laughs> amount of plays that are happening on both sides right now. Yeah, I think I could watch these two play forever. I hope they play in Columbus, I'm just, I want to see it live, you know? Oh, we definitely need a live run back, 100%, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. But we might not see him have much longer of a run back here, uh, Ivar is looking like he's in trouble, he's gonna need to pull out some of the magic that we've seen to, to survive this. Gonna find a big blue T in the center, follows into a triple, uh, and he's doing his, the best he can, but his board's not looking good, but he is finding the, the combo setups where he can. I see what he's doing on the third column there. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, there wow. it is. <laughs> and that's when he's gonna set up further into like the double on the follow up there. I thought he was gonna opt into like the yellow into the red drop from the third to the fourth, but um, it, it looks like he opted to just uh, give up on that at the end of the day, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah, and going back to Betty's board, it's just looking so clean. It's hard to imagine how Ibar you know, gets into a winning position from here, but he is continuing to combo. Uh, I think as long as Betty doesn't do anything too wild and keeps things clean, I think she uh, she may be well on her way. But we'll have to see if Ibar has anything to say about that. Yeah, so the game plan for Ibar right now is to ensure that he gets a lot of combos out in order to mm. buy him some time to clear up the uh, viruses on his side there. Um, yep, so it looks like he's slowly trying to dig his way out. Meanwhile, Betty, yes, like you mentioned, a bit of a cleaner board here, but again, you can never know what will happen with these counts at the end of the day here. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, fortunately, Ibert just doesn't have a lot of room to, to make the setups that he needs uh, to stage a comeback here, and now Betty, four viruses remaining, soon to be comboing into two, I believe, if the garbage doesn't stop her. Uh, this is looking very good for her. She's gonna be yeah. blocked by some garbage here in column two. And that red is quite buried, so it may not be over just yet. It depends how, uh, the pills go. Well, that's, I think, gonna expose oh. the last virus, and she's gonna take it here. That's gonna there be it. Is. Betty is gonna move on, defeating her nemesis, I <laughs> Poor, uh, I, I honestly don't know what the record is between these two, and honestly, uh, I don't really care. <laughs> it's, uh, it's I just cared to watch them play, and I hope that we get to see them play many more times in the future. But uh, for tonight, that's going to be it for them, uh, at least for Ibar. Uh, good, good, uh, good, good on you, Ibar, for making third place. You, you've made in the finals. Uh, these two, both members of the immunity pool in Columbus, we've seen a, seen a lot of previews of how those matches might go, and they've all been close. So, yeah, just I have no idea what's going to happen in a couple weeks from now. But uh, let's move it on to the uh, the last match of the night. We're going into the grand finals where Snipe and Betty are going to duke it out to see who takes home the final tournament before Columbus. Uh, we are going to be right back, so stay tuned for grand finals, guys. See you in a bit. 